another marine biology post YouTube video. Again, it has been ages since I made one. I'm really sorry. I've just kind of been trying to find time where I can just sit down and properly enjoy it and not feel like stressed out with everything. So we're back. I was going to start this little series of just like short videos of like frequently asked questions that I get all the time. So then when people ask, I can be like, Bam, watch that video and you'll be fine. <laughs> so hopefully these are helpful. Today we're gonna talk about the top five universities for marine biology in the UK. Now this is all subjective. These are the five that I put down for my applications uh, when I applied to go to uni. So these are just the five that I like the best, but obviously it depends where you live and your own personal opinion and experience, but this is just what I thought was the best. So we're gonna dive straight in and get going. <laughs> okay, so coming in at number five, we have Portsmouth. So Portsmouth offer a bachelor's marine biology degree, which is a three year degree. The entry requirements were AAB to BBB, so quite a broad range. Or if you had done a BTEC, you could have got distinction, distinction, merit, um, so different options there. That's the equivalent to about 120 to 128 UCAS points as like the minimum requirement for you to get in, uh, but you do need 40 points from that 120 points to come from biology, so they really want you to focus on doing well in your biology compared to your other subjects. They also offered a placement year, so you could go and work in the industry for a year while you're doing your degree so that would take your total length of time doing the degree to four years. Uh, personally when I went to see Portsmouth it was nice, it's a city campus so basically everything was kind of spread out throughout the city and it was kind of, I found it quite difficult to know what was like a normal building in the city and what was like a university building. It was just, I think you'd have to be really good at navigating to get around there. Obviously I'm rubbish at that so it wasn't really my cup of tea. They also had their own marine station, but it was really far from the uni. Uh, the laboratory was nice and they did have their own boat, uh, but I thought that compared to the other universities that I'd seen, it wasn't as developed in a way. <laughs> no shade or anything. Coming in at number four, I had Banger. Uh, so Banger is based in Wales. You could either do a master's degree or a bachelor's degree, so either three or four years. And both the bachelor's and the master's had 80 to 120 UCAS points as their baseline to apply. They also offered a placement year or a year in industry. Also, this is another interesting thing that I thought I'd mention, is that when I applied for Banger, they offered me a £3,000 scholarship so that would take a massive chunk out of your university fees and was super tempting they also had really nice accommodation they had like free gym memberships with certain accommodations and it was very tempting and the campus looked beautiful it was like absolutely stunning um but it is quite remote and i don't know depends where you live but i thought it was quite difficult to get to um, I never actually went and saw the campus, I just looked online and did like a virtual tour for it because it was so far away for me to go to. Um, but it did look really lovely, it was very tempting. <laughs> Coming in at number three, Exeter. So basically Exeter has the big main campus which is in Exeter but they also have a Falmouth campus which is slightly further down the coast. They were offering AAB to ABB, or if you've done a BTEC that was distinction, distinction, merit. They also offered a placement or a study abroad year, so that's where you could go and you'd be put in a university in another country and you'd do a year out in that country still studying the same degree but just at another university far away. <laughs> and if you did your placement year that would have taken up to four years. They also had some really cool trips, so they had a optional field course trip to the Azores or the Galapagos which sounds amazing and were also really cool. I really thought Exeter looked incredible, it was kind of like your eco dream, it just looked so nice, it was right on the coast. People that I'd spoken to that had studied there had just been like, oh yeah we literally go surfing after our lectures and like run down to the beach all the time, like it did look absolutely beautiful. Again for me it was really far away. So I never actually got to go, I did look at it virtually. And again, I think the distance 
put it off for me but um obviously it depends where you live and if you even care about that kind of thing <laughs> uh number two we have plymouth now plymouth was just oh i loved plymouth plymouth was amazing i did actually get to go and see plymouth they were offering a three-year bachelor's degree which you needed 120 to 144 ucas points they also were offering a optional placement year and they also had some cool field courses in France and Portugal, which sounded really nice. I have to say, when I went there, uh, I spent the weekend there with my mum, just looking around the city and also just looking around the uni. And we both had such a nice time. It was a lovely, lovely place. It had beautiful views on the sea. It was a really nice city as well. They have an amazing aquarium there. I literally just spent the whole time in the aquarium. It was stunning and I know that people uh, doing marine biology often tried to get work experience at the aquarium and it was literally right on the doorstep so it was really really handy. They also have their own like marine station and I know that uh, during my degree we also look at loads of data collected from their marine station so it's a really relevant up-to-date marine station. Also during my degree we actually do a field course in Plymouth so it's obviously a really good place to be for marine biology. And coming in, number one, we have Southampton. This is totally not bias or anything. <laughs> um, but Southampton does have to be the top of this list. It is the best place for marine biology in the UK, hands down. No argument about it. <laughs> so they offer either a bachelor's degree or an integrated master's degree. So that's three years for the bachelor's or four years for the integrated master's. I'm currently in year two of my integrated master's marine biology degree at Southampton University. The entry requirements were ABB or AAB. They also have the coolest ever field courses to Bermuda or Galapagos um, and they also do loads of other field courses throughout the year local to the UK so we go to Pembrokeshire, we go to Plymouth and we do quite a lot of stuff in Southampton as well. Obviously because of Covid I've done none of those but they sound cool <laughs> and they're being postponed and rearranged for later on when there is no pandemic going on. Also another thing to mention is they do do a study abroad so I know a lot of people and a lot of my friends have applied to do the study abroad. This just means they go away for the first semester in their third year to another uni and there are some really, really cool options on there. You can go to Norway, Australia, you can go to Canada and America. It just sounds honestly so cool, but you do have to be getting certain grades to be able to apply to go on to that uh, study abroad year, but it does sound really, really interesting. And I can't talk about Southampton without talking about the NOC. This is the National Oceanography Centre. It's basically where we do all of our labs, all of our boat work, and they have an amazing library there. And they also have the coolest labs ever. They have so much cool stuff going on down there. Honestly, you're walking around just staring at everything because, oh, it's just, I can't even, I don't have any words. It's just incredible. Another thing to mention is, because they have the NOC, they literally have all of the most amazing technology. They have ROVs, AUVs. They also received 19 million in 2017 to put towards all of their sensors and all of their technology. They have two massive research vessels. They have the James Cook and they have the Sir David Attenborough, which is like a polar research vessel. And it is just incredible. It's so cool. I just, I need to stop talking about it because I'm never gonna There you have it, so they were the five top universities that I think are the best in the UK for marine biology. Obviously there are others that do marine biology and offer it, but they're just the five that I looked at that I thought looked really cool, so I thought I'd share that with you guys. I hope this video was helpful, please like, comment and subscribe and get ready for the next one. It won't be that long, I promise. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, bye!